I'm here with Ron Blair and Scott Thurston from Heartbreakers, legendary band. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Yeah, sure. You know, one of the things that Reverb is all about, you know, is kind of the acquisition of gear, like getting the right piece of gear in the right hands. I know you're playing Fenders a, a fair amount. I know yep. you also have a Duesenberg um, yep. that you're yeah. playing a bunch. Is there any reason why you gravitate towards, you know, like a Fender P bass or a jazz bass or something? Yeah, rather than I something played else? the early jazz basses like '64 mm -hmm. on the road, and it just uh, 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 the reason I play it is it blends so well with with the older guitars that, that these guys play. You know, mm -hmm. like the newer the newer basses, you hit the A string, might be too much information, or the E string, yeah. and it just and it doesn't uh, it just doesn't blend. And then you get an old vintage bass that's rattled around in somebody's trunk or whatever, you know, for you know however many years, and it just has like a really uh, warm sound in it and mm -hmm. it just blends well with other old instruments and yeah. that, that's why I use it. And you feel the same way about kind of guitars like the old vintage vibe versus a new player or something like that? Well, if in our band if you play a new guitar you, you get the snake out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so I don't even think about it. Yeah. 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 And what's your main axe that you're using? or? Oh, late, it just it depends. I don't, I've been going through a phase where I Played a lot of, you know, early uh, '60s SG specials, mm -hmm. and now I'm starting to play more single pickup P90. Mm -hmm. Like I've got a coronet that I like, really like a '61 coronet or something. I don't know yeah. what it is, and it blends real well. And but, of course, yeah. it's just you got to have a Stratocaster and you sure. have a Les Paul or two. You know, it's interesting that you bring up blending too, because there are three guitars in the band most of the time, right? Yeah. And I'm sure that it's tough to kind of carve out that space for yourself, maybe. I don't know, I would just assume yeah, that we got three guitar players blazing or, away, you know? Or you just turn the volume off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, when I think about the Heartbreakers, I think one of the things that I love most about it is kind of the idea of the rhythm guitar being so so important and integral for being the glue that kind of ties it all together. Yeah, that's what the songs are kind of based around, a real solid, you know, lick or you know, things yeah. with space and yeah. or whatever, you know. Do you find yourself in the writing process? I mean, do you guys have kind of create creativity that you can bring to the table? Or are you getting direction mostly or? I come up it's, with a bass part, he comes up with a... It's uh, pretty clear what to do, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, we don't do a lot of discussion, you know. Tom, Tom, is, comes in pretty real. It's pretty realized. So yeah. you, you, it's pretty clear what, what your role is. Right, and it's yeah. obviously probably pretty clear when you're playing outside of that box that he's kind of put put in, like the tune yeah, itself. Yeah, it's you know? a real easy job, you know. The yeah, the way, yeah, It's just yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah, you know what we don't. Something's difficult. We don't do it. Yeah. At this, yeah. At this we point, we take the easy route. At this point, yeah. yeah. You know, some people, some of the band work hard. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I'm the. Yeah. I'm probably on the line for you know, like. He studies. I study. Yeah. Yeah. He makes yeah. So you know, just a little bit more about the instruments that you guys play, or maybe not the instruments that you guys play on tour. Is there anything that you leave at home that you you know don't want anything to happen to that's you know really oh, yeah. special or sentimental? Certainly. Yeah, things oh, that have been I've, stolen and returned, or things yeah, that, you know, or, like, you know, like the guitars that we had stolen. We, we they've they've mostly been retired, just because they have that sort of boy, you'll be safe here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. stay there. I yeah. I won't I won't risk it anyway. Yeah, and, and you know, of course, there's 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 just too val. Some of the guitars are just too valuable. To, yeah. To to risk breaking the headstock. <laughs> It's like, you know, yeah. Mike has his '59. He's right. not gonna, he's not gonna bring that out except yeah. unless he brings it right from home to the stage. Yeah, it you can't know. leave his hand. You know, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I still bring out the good stuff, the '63s, and then the one I got here a couple years ago. Yeah. That that beautiful color. What is it? I don't know. Oh, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it. Was, Sonic I, blue. Yeah. Sonic yeah. blue. Yeah. yeah. Know, Which is actually green. Surf, yeah. I thought it was but, surf green, but it is a faded. Blue. Yeah, I got it, that out it with me. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. And I, I, I probably spent about four years going to every swap meet in LA, so I have every Ozark uh, stringed instrument, sonoras, yeah. and uh, 
with marks of phones and uh, yeah, his, every he's, weird thing. He's a museum. Yeah, I'm a museum, and, and, and there's like a little maybe like a little toy room in your in your place. It's kind you of have a small room. Stuff? No, I have to. I kind of have to bring them out, rotate them every week because yeah. it's just not not that big. So I pull them out and feature an instrument of, mm -hmm. of the day, you know, cool. and kind of actually you know share it with other people. It's pretty pretty fun. Cool. Uh, is there a piece of gear that um, you know that you once had that you don't have anymore that you wish you had back? The B3 I traded to get a bass when I switched over to bass back in the old days. I wish uh, I had that back. Yeah. I guess I could just buy one. But back in the day in Gainesville, and what year was that? I mean, way back in the day, there was just no bass players in town, and I, I, I was one of you know 100 guitar players in, in town, and I, I played organ too. And then my friends had a band with two brothers that couldn't get along, and they wanted a bass player. And so I went down to the local store and. Um, you know, borrowed a bass and had had a religious experience that night, and he kind of got ordained to play bass or something. So I've been trying to learn ever since. Yeah. You know, like, you know, should have stuck with the P3. I should have, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, yeah, you need you need a, actually a guy playing bass. It's a little, uh, little, you know, different, different. Yeah, a little out of the ordinary. You know, a little talent, a little, you know, spirit, a little, you know. Uh, I don't you, know. Are, you are. I, I get along with everybody. You know? yeah. I don't mind five people telling me what part to play, and somehow I make them all happy. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <whatever. laughs> right. uh, Scott, anything? Oh, I, I, of course, have lots of guitars and amps. And oh, dude, you that could, like, I That I've somehow got, gotten rid of. That anything I that you have sold kept. that you oh, should have Oh, yeah, yeah, I had a 50... I don't know, 50, probably a 55 telly with a brown deluxe amp that I bought from the Stooges road uh, he was he was our tour manager mm -hmm. and you started playing keyboards in that band before yeah I was playing? a keyboard player mm -hmm. always been a keyboard player and a guitar player mm -hmm. but uh, yeah my first Les Paul the first guitar I ever bought was a Les Paul 52 Les Paul mm -hmm. and a, mm -hmm. I think it was a hundred dollar like pay wow. This, this might have been a few years ago. Yeah, just yeah, a few. Yeah. Just a few. Yeah, millions of, millions of regrets, but... Sure, sure. I have vaults of instruments, of course. Yeah, yeah. So I don't lust for anything. I, I, I search the vaults first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to remember what you have, but hey, I got one of those. It's yeah. a long list. Yeah. Well, we're always searching for gear on Reverb, and, um, mm -hmm. you know, we have so much awesome stuff. All the stuff that you guys have mentioned, you know, one pops up every so often, and all of us guys at the office, you know, kind of sit there and, you know, stare yeah, at the screen fine. and wish we had some of the stuff that you guys have. I think that um, the Heartbreakers might go down in history as having the best gear in the world, as oh, far as yeah. I'm concerned. Yeah, so. It's a pretty astounding collection. And yeah. we, use, yeah, we use it, you know, most of it, too. We try. Well, that's yeah. a refreshing yeah. thing about yeah. it, you know, as much as, you know, I would love to have a, you know, an old collector's guitar, I feel like it would sit on my wall and I probably wouldn't play it too much, and it's good to see these instruments being used, you know? Yeah, They're man. supposed yeah. to be used. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the art of it. You leave them laying around and then you look like a genius for using an old silver tone on the track. <laughs> you know, it's like, hey, wow, well, how did you, well, because it was the closest one, you know. Right. Not me, you know, but yeah. the people yeah. that make them darn good records. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which I hope to be looking for that Ron Blair album one day, yeah. you know? Sure, sure. <laughs> Well, Ron Scott, thanks so much for joining okay, us. Yeah, it was such a great, sure. great time. It's a pleasure and, to be here. Well, you can check out a bunch of the gear that they've talked about. I'm sure that we have at least some of it on the web. Um, check us out, reverb.com. Thanks again, guys. Yeah, man. All right.